is a street called Vaki Street, which is the heart of the sort of entertainment district in Budapest. And it's where my hotel is, just along there. Incredible location. It's almost like I research it or something. Back to the central food hall. There's the building itself there. Let's go and see if they let me in today. So the two smaller cities of Buda and Pest unified and became one city in 1873. And the uh, amount of markets in the city was insufficient to deal with the needs of the locals in terms of fresh produce. So this place was built and opened in 1897 as one of the most modern market halls of its time. One year before it was opened, the roof burnt down. So uh, this is the second roof that it's had. It was built again before it opened. Nice place. Lots of uh, vegetables, fruit, meat, fresh dairy, designed for the locals, but uh, there's lots of tourists here. Lots of different examples of mushrooms here. This one is edible, believe it or not. This one here, uh, let's have a look, that one there, with the exclamation point. It's not edible, but it won't kill you or do you too much harm. And then this one here, poisonous to human beings. So you've got to know what you're looking for when you go for your mushrooms. Outside. It's a beautiful area actually. There's the bridge statue at the top of the hills over on the Buddha side. And I made it to St. Stephen's Basilica, the second largest church in Hungary. I'm now heading to the top to get hopefully a pretty good and interesting panoramic view of Budapest. Uh, lights keep going off. And some kind of sensor, I think. Maybe I'm too slow. As you'd expect, there's lots of steps. But also lots of secret compartments that you're not allowed to go through there. And in the other direction, through there as well. So you can actually, if you've got uh, special access, make it right to the top of the external dome there. That's probably for maintenance or something like that. I'm heading up this way. And again on the left side is the, uh, the top of the internal dome. There's Buddha Castle on the other side of the river. This is the main square in front of the Basilica. Straight ahead, you can just about see the Parliament building from the back. There's St. Matthias Church and Fisherman's Bastion, which is where we was last night. Well, some incredible views up here. It's time to head down again, I think, and uh, 
get into the basilica itself. So I'm now in the uh, main basilica. This is the River Danube I'm on the Pest side of the river. You can see Buddha over the other side there. I'm heading towards the shoes now on the banks of the river. So I think the story goes that in uh, World War II, at the end of the war when the Nazis took control, they set up Jewish ghettos here in Budapest. And uh, one of the things that they did was they took Jews from the ghettos, marched them down here to the banks of the river, lined them up, asked them to take their shoes off, and then uh, shot them all so that they fell into the river and never saw again. And these uh, shoes are placed there as a tribute to those Jews that died as a result of those actions. So I'm at the top of what I said earlier was the Hungarian Chandelise. It's actually called Andrassy Avenue, lined in trees. It takes you up to this place, which is where I am now, a place called Hero Square which was built and opened in 1896 to mark the 1,000th anniversary of Hungary as a nation. Over on the left is the Museum of Fine Arts and over on the right is the Hall of Art. There we go. Nice place. Got a party going on behind, I think. Yep, it's the beer bus. So at the top of the Millennium Monument is Archangel Gabriel, who's standing up there with the Holy Crown in one hand and the double cross of Christianity in the other. If we look at the base of the monument, they're members of the Magyar tribe, which is where Hungarians actually came from. They didn't start off in Europe, they started off in Asia and moved into Europe about a thousand to eleven hundred years ago as it is now. So I'm now behind the monument. It's a nice location because it's kind of at the entrance to City Park. So in the middle of the park is this place. It's called the Szczeny Thermal Baths. There's seven of these in Budapest. They say these baths are fed from natural thermal springs. A little bit of a queue I see at the door. Let's hope I can get in. Well, I got in, I had to pay a little bit more than I wanted to, about 14 quid, but Definitely worth it, it's quite unique in here. I just 
put my hand in the water to see what it was like and it's like a sauna like a jacuzzi it's uh, really warm you wouldn't want to stay in for too long especially with the weather being so warm as well all of these yellow buildings that surround the thermal baths are actually indoor thermal baths and spas and treatment rooms so you can pay extra to go into there apparently they're quite impressive from the inside as well but I've just bought an outdoor ticket today well I knew I should have brought me swimming trunks gonna leave Ches Cheney thermal baths behind it's been good Thank you.